this is Fat Man DD1. I'm coming to you all in your nice ass homes to talk about the new Batman vs Superman trailer. I watched it last night. I couldn't make a video about it. I couldn't get my reactions about it. Yo, it's motherfucking crazy. And it's kind of a little disappointing, but it's crazy. Now, but also funny. So now we're going to get a shot. We're going to talk about it shot by shot by shot. We're going to get into this motherfucker. Let's do this now. So right now we show up at the gala, the ball, Bruce Wayne showing up in his nice ass old school type of car. I like it. I like it. You know, I don't know what the name of it is, but it looks spicy. It looks spicy. Yeah, Who's that? Got Clark Kent in his butt chin. And we have a, I thought the guy in the back was James McAvoy for like two minutes since I heard his voice. You must be new. That is Bruce Wayne. The music, the music, like, who the fuck is this guy? Mr. Wayne, Clark Kent, Daily Planet. What's your position on the bat vigilante and God? The smirk, like, fuck you. Because <laughs> once you talk about Batman or the vigilante to Bruce Wayne, just like, can suck my ass, right? <laughs> Go suck my ass. Let's get into it, let's get into it. Warner Brothers, DC, Zack Snyder. Civil liberties are being trampled on in your city. People live in okay, fear. Okay, people live in fear because of the shit that comes out of Gotham. Let's get that straight. Batman keeps people in check and then keeps other things in check that come out of Gotham. Like Solomon Grundy, you know, other shit. He thinks he's above the law. He is. The Daily Planet criticizing those who think they're above the laws. Oh, hypocritical. What'd you say? Considering every time your hero saves a cat out of a tree, you're at a puff piece that a toy. See now, the one thing Bruce Wayne doesn't get, or Batman, that Clark is Superman, and that when he saves lives, he has to write from another point of view and just give a give a, a standing ovation to this to this godlike being because I'm Clark Kent. I'm supposed to be human. <laughs> About an alien. You could burn the whole if you want to, you can burn it down, yeah. Most of the world doesn't share your opinion, Mr. Wayne. Maybe it's Gotham City and So we catch the Robin suit all beat up with the with Jokers and Batman. It's funny. Just have a bad history with freaks dressed like clowns. That stare down gives me the more like to see the intenseness in these characters. See, see, like if this rivalry was built up, like you know, before they did this stare down, they had to talk about each other's mamas. Like, yo, mama, yo, mama, no, yo, mama. Oh, I'm gonna fuck you up. Boys. And Jesse Eisenberg, mm. the like full look of Jesse Eisenberg, hearing him talk and everything, and seeing if that's a wig is hilarious. Bruce Wayne meets Clark Kent. Ah, I love it. I love bringing so people weird. together. How are we? <laughs> Shook his hand uh, like hello. Lex. Fucking asshole. Oh, Lex, it is a pleasure. Ow! Wow, that is a good grip. You should not pick a fight with I like that. Lex Knight. Do you know the oldest lie in America, Senator? That power can be in this. I hate when he uses that line because I like um, power. Like, gods come don't, don't come from the sky. They come from beneath us or among us or some shit. That was a better line than what he just said. That was corny. Okay, so Bruce Wayne, Batman, is still pissed off because fucking Superman is uneducated as a superhero. He didn't take the fight away from the people. He basically fought Zod among millions of buildings, destroyed so much damage, did all of this, and they built a statue in your honor. Are you kidding me? So Batman is a little pissed off. Like, this son of a bitch brought the war to us. It's his fault that my building and tons of people were destroyed. It's his fault that got Metropolis was blown to shit. And you're telling me I shouldn't fight him. Okay. But if he becomes a threat, it's my fault. To us. You know you can't win this. It's suicide. Alfred telling him he's crazy, and it is, but he's not listening. The greatest gladiator match in the history of the world. Son of Krypton versus Bat of Gotham. You're psychotic. That is a three-syllable word for any thought too big for me. Jesse Eisenberg is crazy, so he's doing the most crazy matchup. Batman, Superman, 
the Batmobile was hot. To be a man. Stay down! If I wanted it, you'd be dead already. If man won't kill God. And we see Zod, dead body. The devil will do it. I don't know what he's doing to Zod's body. Yo. What have you done? And here we have the first look at Doomsday, looking like a fucked up Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle, looking like some shit that came out of fucking Harry Potter, looking like something from Lord of the Rings. My nigga, he looks pretty ugly, but Doomsday is supposed to be OD powerful and strong as shit to kill Superman. So if he's here, it's over. Here goes, and here comes Wonder Woman saving your ass. She with you? I thought she was Who's she with? And then they assemble to fight Doomsday. And that's Dawn of Justice, ladies and gentlemen. That's Dawn of fucking Justice. Because this movie itself is too much to, to bear, too much to take in. It's fucking amazing. And... I'm going to talk about it more. What do you think of the trailer? What do you think of my shot-by-shot shot talk about it? And what do you have to offer? This is Fat Man saying, what's next? You think this is the final fucking trailer we're getting from Jimmy Kimball? Like, like, put your comments in below. Let me know what's happening. Peace, and I'm out.